Hi guys, Zach here with another Command & Conquer Red Alert video. In this game I'm playing a 3v3 match on the map Arena Valley Extreme. There's some pretty good players in this game. On my team there's Matthias and Saltide. And on the other team there's Kommi, Lightsign and Mudshark. And I'm playing in a top middle position. So what I'm doing first of all is just build some infantry. And the aim at the start really is to get as much scouting done as you possible, if possible get into the enemy's base, and it's also to defend your territory and stop the other player getting into your base. And we have to be quite careful in this middle position on Arena Valley Extreme because sometimes you can like get light tanks coming from behind and attacking your construction yard. Um, so you can see I'm getting... Um, my ore refinery out straight away. I should have probably built that ore silo just one space to the right. I don't really want it right next to my ore refinery because it can sometimes cause a little bit of trouble with the tracking when it comes to ore trucks. And you can see um, the enemy scout there. I've just missed him, but I'm going to get him with my scouts that I've just held back a little bit. So yeah, it's important to really just get that visibility early on so I can see if there's any enemy scouts coming and then I can deal with them if they do get past the scouts I have at the front. And you can see I'm building um, my war factory there and I'm going to build an ore truck and then I'm going to start building tanks. It's quite important um, sometimes when in these matches where you, the teams are a bit close together to get some t tanks out a bit earlier. And what you can see I'm doing with my ore truck is I'm making sure it's collecting the gems first just so I don't run out of any money. And we can see there that green, I think that's played by light sign. I'm not 100% on that though, but he's bringing a bunch of troops. So I'm just leaving some troops there, but he's a good player. He's spotted that I've been there and stopped, because sometimes what can happen is you'll get a person and they'll just run the infantry right past and they'll lose them all um, if they're not careful. And now I've got my second or Thing out and I'm just going to use that tank to try and squash them and yeah we've been able to get rid of them and now I'm going to start expanding down to the south it's sometimes quite hard to expand from the position I'm in uh, because you can see it's only very narrow but it's really important I do get to that next ore patch otherwise I will run out of ore quite early on and we can see to the right there coming going for an attack on my ally Sultide so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my tanks down uh, near Kommi's base because players are quite vulnerable when they are outside their base, of course. And when they're attacking, they're focused on attacking their opponent's base and not defending their own. And that's always a danger if you go and attack an opponent early on in team games. And you can see Saltide is uh, defending okay and he's pushing Kommi back. He might have lost a building or two there though. And we can see that Matthias on the left of me, it looks like he's been attacked because I could see some movement with his tanks to the left. And you can see there's Kommi, has got some tanks out of his uh, war, around his war factory, but there's not too many there. And we're getting some good trades here. I don't think I've lost any tanks so far. Sure, he's done a little bit of damage though to my light tanks. And I'm going to get his war factory. And that's really, really important. Uh, because that's 2,000 ore, and it's going to delay his building speed uh, for tanks. And you can see I still need to be advancing down to that southern ore patch. In the position we are in now, though, we're going to have to be really careful, because light sign is in the middle. So I'm just going to try and get a bit of visibility here to see what condition he's in. And as we can see, he's got quite a few tanks there. And he's built a Tesla coil, so I'm going to pull my tanks back. Because if there's one thing that tanks don't like, it's Tesla coils, especially when it's got tanks in front defending. So I'm just going to pull back a little bit there. I think he's building probably uh, Tesla coils just to defend more from light tanks if there's any light tank dives, which Soviet players sometimes like to uh, do. Well, I mean defend against. And we're just going to do a bit of damage because we could see Saltide was attacking Kommi from the right side of his base. So we're just getting some destruction here. We're going to get rid of that war factory as well. And what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to fight the tanks here. I don't want to lose too much. And I've got another war factory out. And looking at the ore, I should have really been building an ore refinery, not a war factory. Because uh, I don't have enough ore trucks to support three war factories. So that's a little bit of a mistake from me there. Uh, but we can see that it looks like Saltide is managing to destroy the majority of Kommi's base. 
and um, so that shouldn't be too bad but as we can see here uh Matthias's base is basically destroyed and I'm just going to pull back a little bit here as well and you can see that Mudshark is bringing some of those tanks to finish off the last buildings of Matthias so I'm just going to bring some tanks to try and help here because Matthias did have quite a few tanks left which could be really useful because once your ba buildings are destroyed you, all your tanks are automatically destroyed when it's destroyed buildings which is the game mode we are playing and it looks like he's just managed to be able to do that with about two light tanks left uh, we're going to clear up those light tanks so, so it's not um, so bad um, and we'll just see what condition he's in so it looks like Mudshark's in a really bad con condition at the moment which is good for us uh, because even though he's got a war factory left I couldn't see any ore refinery there so hopefully he's not able to collect any ore and that means he's not going to have any more tanks fingers crossed although I was wrong there you can see he's got a couple of a few light tanks there so we're going to need to defend against those Ooh, he's got actually quite a few uh, more than I thought he would have uh, so we're going to have to defend against this I'm just going to build another power plant here just in case he goes for my construction yard because what quite often happens is players will go for construction yards and after the construction yards they go for power plants because when you're low on power you're slow at building tanks and you can see my ally Saltide is helping me out there and you can see mud sharks going to the right and uh, Saltide's got enough tanks there to defend and you can see that light sign is coming up through the middle he's got a lot of tanks there and I'm going to need to defend uh, this position hopefully so yeah my economy at the moment isn't in a great position it could have been a lot a lot better and I'm just defending against a lot of heavy tanks the reason I'm placing my tanks up here just above that little passage is because as you can see light signs really struggling to get all his tanks around so even though he's got more tanks than me he's not getting the best trades I'm still I'm managing to do a lot of damage to his mass um, and that you can see now he's managed to pull up a little bit and all sort of get a bit of a surround and he, yeah he's got heavy tanks I've got medium tanks so they are a bit stronger than mine but I think I've done quite well in reducing his mass down uh, which will be really helpful and I might need to pull a little bit back it doesn't look like we're getting reinforcements as fast as and that's why we can see that uh, my ore trucks have been a bit uh, stuck and that's the issue when you sometimes when you lose ore refineries um, your ore tr too many ore trucks try to go to the same ore refinery and they get jammed as you saw there and you can see Mudshark is being a little annoying with his uh, light tanks and you can see that Matthias is uh, just uh, signalling there he's obviously watching the game and I've got now got another ore refinery and I think that Saltide might be attacking Light Sign's base because as we can see that Light Sign, his tanks are gone and it looks like that's exactly what's happening so we were able to do it. so it looks like it's probably going to be a good game right thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video